Hi guys, in this episode of Ready Decay, I'm gonna be starting off my reaction to Gaho's first album called Fireworks. But before we get into it, I just want to mention how this is requested by my good friend Yuri and thanks to him for introducing me to this amazing artist who now I consider one of my favorite soloists. And I'm really curious to see what his b-sides are gonna have in store for me because his title tracks, especially his last one right now, which is from this album, was amazing. It was one of the best songs of uh, 2021, even though I forgot to add it in my original version of my video for the top songs of 2021, but I count the newer version more anyway. So yeah, because there are so many songs, I'm obviously gonna split it in several videos with the songs in this video that I'm gonna be covering being Oh Oh Oh, Lost My Way, and Anyway. So without further ado, let's get into the first song, Triple O in 3, 2, 1. Oh, what the hell? Why the hell is it only on the one uh, speaker that I have? Also, it's ooh, ooh not triple O. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm already intrigued. <laughs> Dude, this is actually pretty good, what the hell? Man, his voice is so good. His voice is so unique and the way he sings is so cool, dude. I wish... Man, I love him so much. Also, why the hell does this song remind me of flipping Phineas and Ferb? I think it reminds me of a song from the Phineas and Ferb uh, in the second dimension or whatever it was called movie. I think the song from Phineas and Ferb is called Find Your Reality. It has a similar melody to this. I'm already liking this dude. We're off to a really good start with this album. Man, I'm gonna be so happy if this whole album is a bunch of banger songs from him. I wish this song was longer. I feel like if it was longer they would have developed it even more, but damn, for a short intro song, it's really damn good. I really enjoy that one. It was also surprisingly fun and good, and it's 100% because of his godlike vocals, dude. I love the way his voice sounds and how he sings. It's so unique and makes the song so interesting. That's one of the reasons why I like Right Now so much. But yeah, this one was a really good one. And in terms of a rating for this one, I mean, it's gonna be a little bit of a high score right off the bat, but I feel like I should give it a 9.4 out of 10 because it's that fucking good in my opinion. And I'm sorry if I'm sorry too much, but like, I'm just too excited, dude. I really like this song. It was really good. So yeah, right now I'm gonna give it 9.4. Depending on how the rest of the songs are, I might change it up, but for now it's gonna be a 9.4 out of 10 because it's that good of a song. The only problem with it is that it's just too short, you know? But yeah, now let's get into the second song of this album, Gajos Lost My Way, in 3, 2, 1. Is that switching between the goddamn speakers intentional? Cause that is creative producing of songs, dude. Oh, 
Is Kaho gonna be my favorite vocalist? I mean, soloist? Because we're already on a good start with the second song as well. Like, especially to how into I was for the other album reaction that I did today, which is to Astro. I'm so much more engaged with this. And that is not to shit on Astro or anything. For some reason, Gaku just appeals to me more, you know? Even in more low-key songs like this, I'm just into it, you know? such a great control over his voice, dude. And yeah, I'm definitely not as into into this song as much as for all, but I still like it a lot. Part of it, part of the songs that are good are just as good as the first song. But I do like from producing from producing standpoint how they have certain sounds play on the left speaker and other on the right one. I don't know if that is because of the uh, lyrics video that I'm watching on YouTube or whether this is genuinely baked into the song. Because that is really cool. Dude, it's so good. Like, what is there? What is else there to say? It's good. I really like this. I am not as into it, obviously, like I said, uh, as I was into the first song, just because it's a more low key song. Where the first one was just more uh, energetic. But for what it is, it was still really interesting and engaging because it's Gaho, because of the way he sings and the way his voice sounds, and I loved it. But again, because I like it less than the first song, it's going to be a little lower in terms of rating at 8.6 out of 10, which is still a very high score because I still like this song. I still think it's really good for what it is, but it's just, again, not as good. But if these two songs are anything to go by, I feel like the whole album is going to be awesome. But still, let's get into the final song of the, of the first part of this uh, uh, reaction series with the song Anyway in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so far all three songs have really interesting beginnings, dude. Why does he make every song of his so interesting? What is about him that makes it so interesting? Because like all three songs are so different from each other, but I like all of them. I think it's 100% him and his voice. Because I feel like even for other artists like Wojin or Yuki that I like, I still wouldn't be interested in every single song of theirs, you know? Also, why does this song have a vaguely Christmasy feel? Oh, baby, what's the matter? It's so 
Such a range, like you can hear him sing in a somewhat of a deep voice, in somewhat of a raspy voice, and in a high pitched, uh, uh, what was the word for it? Like in a, in a high pitched voice. He's so good. But I, I feel like out of the three songs so far, the first one was definitely my favorite because of how energetic it was. I feel like lost my way in any way. Each has been less interesting to me than the previous one. Again, I like them still a lot because of the way he sings. But the first one was my favorite for sure. But we still have seven more songs, so it's fine. But okay, that's gonna be the songs for this first part of the video. And yeah. I like them. I'm so far pretty satisfied with the album. Like, even in the best of albums, there's still always at least like two or three songs that I'm not really too keen on. So maybe these two, Lost My Way and Anyway, were those songs and the other ones are gonna be better. But even then, overall, I'm still really in love with these songs and Gaho as an artist. And at the end of the day, I don't have high expectations because these are B-sides, they're not title tracks. So I can't expect as high of a quality as for title tracks. But for what they are, as I said, they're good. They're pre pre pretty good even. More than satisfactory. Um, but again, this one is gonna be even lower of a score at 8.4 out of 10. Which again, is still a high score overall compared to other K-pop songs. But yeah, the first one is still uh, the best for me. I really, really enjoyed it. But yeah, what did you guys think about these first three songs of the album? Comment down below and let's have a discussion about it. And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out and thanks to my currently two patrons on Patreon, Omar Bridgman and Deadpool. Thank you guys for your support. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate that you have continued to support me uh, for all this time. And I hope that you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me over there for a long time. Thank you very much. And now, before we end this video, I just want to talk about something uh, to you guys very quickly, um, which some of you may or may have not noticed before or know about me, that being the fact that I am trans. And yes, this may come uh, as shocking uh, to some of you because I don't really flaunt it that much on my channel, or at least I feel like I don't. Um, outside of like my K-pop reactions, which is where I feel like the most comfortable being myself like this. And yeah, I am in fact trans. Um, I'm not necessarily full on uh, male to female, but I heavily want to transition to being pretty female. I do consider myself more non-binary though, or maybe gender fluid would be the best descriptor as well, because I do have occasional moments where I feel fine being like just a normal guy but most of the time like right now I do feel very dysphoric um, and that's why I'm asking you guys for any help that you can give me because my situation right now I I don't really see any way out of outside of you guys' help because and this is gonna be kept short and concise I live with my parents, they're never going to accept me as a trans person, they, they just never will. And 
as a matter of fact, back when I started the YouTube channel, I was actually kind of slightly starting my transition back then with like starting to grow out my hair. Um, I even got to DIY HRT, but because my parents started noticing certain things like uh, uh, my behavior had changed a lot and my clothes had changed a lot, I kind of had to stop doing that because they were constantly nagging me about cutting my hair and just started to kind of be threatening in a certain way and felt like they were ashamed of me and everything and that just kind of that kind of stress just tired me out to the point where I just gave up but as dysphoria goes it just doesn't go away you know I still feel like this and in fact it's somewhat been intensifying again recently so I just wanted to share this with you guys and again I would really appreciate any amount of support you can give me in regards to this because um, I just don't see any way out of this because even if I mo uh, moved out of my parents house and got my myself a job and everything that's just not gonna work for long-term uh, planning because once I transition it's like I probably will not be able to get myself a job because my country is very transphobic nobody gives a shit about LGBT people at all so there's not even much I can do even in terms of transitioning here. So yeah, I don't know. I just would appreciate any amount of support you can give me, uh, be it monetarily or in any way otherwise. And this is not about uh, boosting my channel or anything or guilt tripping you with my sob story. I just wanted to get this off my chest and make my subscribers aware of the situation that I am in and that I would appreciate anything that you guys can help me out with. It would mean literally everything. Like for example, uh, a friend that I made after starting this YouTube channel, my good friend Yuri, has been helping me out a lot. And I genuinely might have not been here if it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for him showing up and befriending me. So yeah, this just went a little bit longer than I, I intended, but I would just uh, really appreciate anything you can support me with. That's kind of ultimately what I'm trying to say. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, also check out the link in the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me over there, and to my Wattpad where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. But, uh, and if you end up enjoying my stories, or you simply enjoy my videos, you can uh, head over to my Patreon or to my coffee account where you can pledge your support and help get the channel going. You help support me so I can keep writing stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!